right, we just talk about four different types of Korean traditional instruments that are used for samulori. I want to mention two more things. The first of all, uh, based on the Asian uh, philosophy or culture, is yin and yang. Did you hear about yin and yang? Mm -hmm. So long time ago, like uh, Asian people, like uh, Chinese and Korean people, believe that the world is in two parts, like yin and yang. It's like minus and plus, meaning it's the earth and the sky mm -hmm. and the night and the day and female and male, something like that. Mm. And in Korean traditional drumming, uh, we incorporated such idea into our drumming as well. As you can see, there are two metal instruments. It represents yang, and two skin drums represent yin. So we believe that it's very, very important to keep the harmony between metal instruments and then skin drums. All right, and also one more thing. Uh, we believe that the, the sound of each instrument represents the sound of nature. Oh, okay. Okay. So let's start by, start with a jing. So you already heard the sound of jing. So what do you think the sound of nature is kind of a, it's a represented by jing? Number one, rain. Number two, thunder. Number three, wind. Number four, the movement of cloud. Brent, do you have any idea? Mm, I would guess wind. You are correct. <laughs> Once more, so look at this. Listen. Like a sound of wind, mm. right? Mm. But the Gwengari is a higher pitch and very loud, like a Number one, rain. Number two, thunder. Number three, wind. Number four, the movement of a cloud. What do you think? Brent? I'm going to go with thunder. Wow, you're smart. <laughs> so this sound represents the sound of thunder. All right. And the Changu sound. What do you think? Number one, rain. Number two, no, number two, is thunder. Number three, wind. Number four, the movement of cloud. 50-50 chance. Rain. Rain, you are correct. Do you want to play book? Sure. Yeah. So we already know which one this is. Process of elimination. Let's see. Let's ask the audience. Brand. So what do you think? It's not that hard, right? Only choice is a num uh, number four, the movement of a cloud. So as you can see, the sound of Korean traditional instruments represent the sound of nature. And we believe that keeping the harmony for yin and yang and also representing the sound of nature, I think it's the key of a samurai. All right, so this is the ending part. Uh, traditionally, whenever we have a class or when you play music, we usually play the particular rhythm called insagut, meaning it's like a greeting rhythm. Are you ready? I'm ready. Hoshigo! Shota! Yeah, that's it.